breaking news. The social economic rights and accountability projects called SERA. They have filed a lawsuit against the current president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, over the failures to probe the allegations that 2.1 billion United States dollars, which is equivalent to 3.1 trillion public funds of oil revenues and budgeted as a few subsidy payments are missing a bottle of cash between 2006 and 2009. This is the period when Buhari administration, uh, Buhari, the period of Buhari administration. If you recall, Buhari is, was the minister of the petroleum product. He was the head of the minister of the petroleum product. This man, something needs to be proved. Where did this money have gone to? Why is it that this money, which is 2.1 billion, that was not accounted for? Where has this money gone to? For Tubala Ahmed Tinubu, need to uh, uh, create a kind of uh, uh, an investigation team to be able to investigate where this money has gone to because this money could have been used to pay for food subsidies that the public generally need and if this money were not used for oil subsidies it could have been used uh, during the period uh, when the uh, arson strike was when they paid a lot of the lecturers and also can be used in the development of the social infrastructures like the healthcare and also provide enough security for the country. Someone, somewhere, you know where this money has gone to. And if you look for the main payments to go to, it has to go to one or two transactions. And they can, someone can add the university. Someone, you know, we need to create something like a committee or public committee to be able to analyze and reduce where this payment has gone to. But they find a lawsuit. Allegations documented by the Austrian General of the Federation in 2016 and 2009 annual report that the public funds are missing. The final lawsuit last Friday at the High Federal High Court in Lagos State. And what Sarah is seeking is an order of mandatus to direct and compel the current president, Tinubu, to promptly probe allegations that 2.1 billion US dollars public funds are missing and not accounted for between 2006 and 2009. So, Seraph is also seeking an order of mandatus to compel President Tinubu to direct anti corruption agency to promptly probe oil subsidy payments made by the government in the returns of democracy in 1998. I stand and prosecute suspected perpetrators and uncover any proceeds of this crime. This happened under the Buhari administration watch. Sarah is also saying that, look, we compare you to use any of the common proceed of crimes as a palliative to address the impact of the subsidy removal, the poor Nigerians have put in place mechanisms for transparency and accountability in the oil sectors. The allegations that 2.1 billion US dollars equivalent to 3.1 trillion in Naira for public funds are missing and unaccounted for a fundamental breach of the national anti corruption law and a country and international obligations, including under the UN Convention Against Corruption, to which Nigeria is a state party to. The local government has constitutional and international legal obligations to get to the bottom of these allegations and also to ensure accountability for those serious crimes against Nigerian people. And also directing and compelling the president to know what the public probe means to bring to just 
working as the tutors will cover any missing public funds that will advance the rights of Nigerians. Tuitions, compensations, and guarantees of no petitions. Uh, this is a lawsuit that was filed on Friday, and this is not economic growth or sustainable without accountability for the human rights crimes. And the poor and social economic vulnerable Nigerians should not be made to continue to pay the price for the stealing of Nigeria's oil wells, white food, and no state actors pocketed public funds. Investigating and prosecuting these allegations and recovering any missing public funds to start the public interest to ensure justice and accountability and aim to entrench impunity of perpetrators. And they also say that uh, they will look at the, the national Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, which pays for the needs. Uh, the amount of six hundred and fifty three billion into the public account that in the general year the money is missing. The NSC also reportedly fails to account for the allocation of crude oil refinery in 2019, which accounted to 176,000 million, 239.436 million barrels of oil. This NSC has definitely killed Nigerians. And we all know that the oil is listed as a domestic oil without any document. Good values for that oil is around to 5.555 billion, 891.00.96 in Naira, which is missing and has been diverted. So the head of NPC, the head of NPC has a duty and something to account for, because this is. Happens during the abortion. This happened when Buhari administration was in power. And where the new funds have gone through, the NFPC is already there a place to account for 40 million as well. 552 million, 844.9 million of domestic gas receipts. They have been doing the distribution amounts into the very account. So the NFPC is where these allegations of subsidies that was given to them, uh, they were not even accounted for, even the missing virus of oil. So the NMPC has a lot of duties to account for, and we saw that person that we need the hands of this power uh, to not go need to investigate what is going on here. So this is what is currently happening in the country at the moment. But um, I hope that you know, we have the use in order to get to the bottom of this problem so that the amount that were missing, they were not accounted for, uh, for subsidies that was paid uh, to NNPC, and that amount was not actually accounted for. Someone or somewhere uh, should be named and should, and should be able to uh, uh, be investigated and to be able to make sure that the anti corruption agencies will look into these issues and bring those any perpetrators or any cronies or any other uh, empire that is behind this uh, payments into books. And we hope that this should no administration to do that because uh, Nigeria is definitely looking into books and, and we want him to be able to prove these allegations. This money could have been used uh, to better the poor, vulnerable Nigerians that are currently suffering, going through a lot of hardships that need. A, a way in which the government can be able to provide some enabling environment so that they can be able to work, even a simple electricity like uh, uh, electricity. For oh, goodness, I mean, two number of signing fees or electric cars. Uh, we know they can. We hope that they can get this thing into the ground and let it start working so that electricity can be provided across all Nigerians without any restrictions. So and also the, the issues of security. Uh, it also be one of the things that uh, uh, the, the federal government should also embark on. But this is what is currently going on in the country. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you in the next thing. Take care. Bye for now.